Okay, so today is day number three of my um, pre-op liquid diet, and I am dying. I feel like I'm dying. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I knew it was going to be hard, but right now I'm supposed to be, my doctor told me, full liquid, basically no um, food. And um, I started out, day one, did I eat? I started out day one, I was like, oh gosh, I don't know what I'm going to do. So I ended up eating something at the end of the night after I had went um, the whole day without eating. I did like two protein shakes. So that seemed to be okay to where I wasn't feeling dizzy or sick and it um I felt a lot better. So I've been doing that and I'm on day three of it and I feel discouraged. I feel like why can't I do this? A lot of other people can do this and stick to it and not eat anything and I just cannot. I feel like I'm dying. I can't like dizzy, headache, like I can't do it. Um it's discouraging me a little bit, honestly. I am I don't know. I thought I'd be able to do it. I knew it'd be hard, but, you know, I thought I'd be able to. And it doesn't help that, of course, I'm a single parent. So I have to cook for my kids. And, you know, just being around, it'd be different if I could lay in my room all day, not be around food, eat my protein, you know, drink my protein shakes and drink water and be okay. But I can't. I can't. Um, I don't know. I feel guilty, and I was looking at my calendar that I have. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I put a calendar on my bedroom wall, um, Xing off the day till surgery and how many days of liquids, blah, 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 and I looked at my calendar this morning, I was like, oh, crap, I'm having surgery next Friday, and I can't believe it. Um, my um, insurance requirement was only... Um, three months so I didn't have to wait the six months like a, a lot of people have to do so I don't know if since I only had to wait three months I feel like I didn't have enough time to mentally prepare myself like I knew this is something I wanted to do I had my mindset but now I feel like I'm having a nervous breakdown I'm really emotional I'm going up and down with my emotions like not knowing exactly how I feel or things like that so that's been hard I've also been dealing with that a support system, I do have a support system, it's my grandparents, um, but you know, they're older, I just also have my stepmom and my stepsister, which she's getting ready to pop any day now, so, <laughs> um, so, and I do have a really good friend of mine too that's going to be with me um, during my hospital stay, um, I'm nervous, another thing I was wondering is, okay, so I know you guys can see that <laughs> I have piercings I have a few and I don't want to get rid of them so I know my tongue ring obviously I mean everything has to be taken out when I go into surgery but I asked him I was like well how soon will I be able to put it in after you know because the tongue closes up really really quickly um you know I've had it for years I don't know I don't know. That was just something that crossed my mind. I'm kind of worried about that because I don't want my tongue to close up because then I'm going to have to go and get it re-pierced and that's going to suck. So, I don't know. Other than that, I, let's see if I can show you guys. I have my, yep. Yeah. <laughs> I have my hospital bag packed. For the most part, my essentials, I went and got all my vitamins um, for afterwards. I was like, I know I'm not going to feel like doing anything, at least for a couple of days, size up, walking around, and, you know, things like that. I don't want to have to drag myself to the store. I'm also going to go grocery shopping probably a couple days before I go into the hospital. Um, my surgery is at 1030 on July 12th. I have to be there at 830. Um, I'm kind of just going through the motions now. I have everything pretty much physically prepared. It's just 
you know, getting through this pre-op diet, which, gosh, I don't know how you ladies did this, because I am dying, like, I don't know how you guys did it, like, I'm sitting here, like, in all the posts I read, like, on other blogs in this blog about, you know, people doing their pre-op um, diet, I'm like, oh, my God, how are they not going crazy? I'm going crazy, but what the pre-op diet has taught me what it has shown me is that I have a really, really unhealthy relationship with food. Like, yes, it might be um, some physical physical hunger on my end, but a lot of it is mental. Like, I feel like I need the food to be okay. Like, you do need food to eat, but I feel like I just, like, it's a constant thing. Like, I don't know. It's shown me that I have a really maybe... I'm more of an emotional eater than what I originally thought to begin with, like, because when I went for my psych appointments, and she was like, well, how do you cope with things, and I'm like, I don't know, I just do, but it's becoming more and more obvious that, um, I cope with things by eating, (laughs) um, I don't know, that's hard for me to wrap my brain around, because I never really consider myself an emotional eater but I guess I am and was doing it subconsciously I don't know um anyways I'll tell you guys a little bit about me I know I'm rambling this is like my second video (laughs) um I am 24 years old I'm gonna be 25 um this month July 24th um so I have my surgery on the 12th birthday on the 24th gonna kind of suck but I feel like it's perfect timing like it was meant to happen this way um I'll be turning 25 I'll have a new start on my journey um no better time I might not be able to do anything you know go out to eat or go have a drink like what I might usually do with my friends but I'm okay with it I'm okay with that I don't you know feel really any type of way about it I'll be okay um So I'm 24. I just graduated from nursing school March 2013 of this year. Um, I have not taken my state boards yet. I'm just kind of taking a hiatus (laughs) from life, I feel like. I don't know. I knew the surgery was something I wanted to do, and I don't know if any of you other ladies are nurses, but um, once you get your first nursing job, you can't be like, hey, by the way. I'm having surgery, so I'm going to need to be off from six to eight weeks. When I get back, I still might have um, a lifting restriction. I might not be able to lift or move my patients around. Mm -mm. It doesn't work like that. There is absolutely no excuses when you're an RN. So I decided it would be best for me to take my time, you know, studying, um, take my time, taking my state boards and stuff like that, just so I'm not stressed, and, you know, get my surgery done, have time to recover, study, relax, and, you know, adjust to my new eating lifestyle. Um, I am 24, and I also have three babies. I have a six-year-old, four-year-old, and almost two-year-old, so I'm very busy, just because I'm not you know, I haven't started my career since graduating doesn't mean I'm not busy. I am a busy lady, especially because it's summertime. Um, my kids are out of school, so I've been pretty busy. Um, I think that's about it. I think I will probably do another video. I don't know. I might need to talk and fill the need event. I might do another one between now and the day before surgery, but I'm for sure going to do one, um, the day before surgery just to check in and let you guys know where my head is at how I'm feeling that day because I'm sure I'm gonna have a thousand and one things running through my mind the day before I go into surgery I don't know I'm looking forward to this I want to be I mean I feel happy my kids make me happy but I know that I'm not completely happy with myself I feel like there is someone trapped inside of me dying scratching and screaming to get out and I can't let her out um I've been overweight my entire life it wasn't just overnight or oh you had kids and didn't take off the weight and uh, I did have kids and yeah I did add on weight but I've been overweight you know majority of my life I've dealt with the teasing and just feeling subconscious in a room you know 
just with my weight, but I don't know how to explain it. I guess I've always been confident. It hasn't been until recently when I've been like, oh my gosh, I'm so heavy. I'm so uncomfortable. I don't like the way that I look. I think that before I was thinking that um, I was going to have to be heavy my whole life. So I was confident heavy. Like, you know, oh, you know, I look good. I might be big, but I'm still pretty. I still look good. I can, you know, I still have a great fashion sense. You know, I've always been that way until... I think these past six months when I lost my dad, like, um, he passed away from cancer, uh, leomyosarcoma to be exact, um, at the age of 43, and this was about five months ago. Um, since then, I've had a lot of awakenings in life. Um, I'm a single parent. Um, my kids all have the same dad, but unfortunately he's not the best parent so I just kept thinking I don't know what I would do if something happened to me and my kids have to be left in his care like I just don't know what I would do like I would probably roll around in my grave um <laughs> the thought of having to leave them <laughs> with him when he's not stable he doesn't can't provide for them is not the best parent I hate to say but not the best parent like I don't know. No one can take better care of them than what I can, I feel like, and he definitely can't do it. Um, so I want to get healthy for my kids. I want to be able to go out and do things, take them to the park, and not feel like I want to die. Um, and hopefully after this I can get my confidence back to where it used to be because I did have a lot of confidence, maybe even a little conceited at one point. And um, start dating. That's my hope for the future. Get happy with myself, love myself, and then go on a search for love, I guess. <laughs> All right, well, I'll see you ladies later.